Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're taking a look at an article titled, Apparently These 34 Non-Sexual Actions Are Huge Turn-Ons For People, So Pay Attention. So non-sexual things that they consider to be turn-ons, here are the spicy results. I might get rid of some of these just so that the video is not ages long. 34 things is a lot for me to talk about, and I tend to ramble. I'm sorry, but I do. I know this about myself. Fatal flaw. Okay, the first one, which is hilarious that this is the first one because I talk about this all the time and so many of you don't believe me, and that is hands. Any kind of hands. They don't even have to be veiny. I like long fingers. To me, that's really hot. Women, look at your hands. This is why I tell you guys to trim your nails, keep them clean. I know some of you guys work, you know, jobs that require getting your hands a little bit dirty. That's okay. That's sexy too to a lot of women. You've, you have a callus? Great. You go to the gym, your hands look a little rough? Great. Because you look like a guy who can get things done. Girls like the vascularity. Just love a man with good hands. Next is when someone uses their teeth to tear open a package, lordy. Okay, I bet that some of these are going to be, like you have to be attracted to the person in order for the thing to be sexy, right? In order for it to be a turn on, you have to be attracted to the person because just some random guy that you're not attracted to, if he rips something open with his teeth, you're gonna be like, ugh. If I see guys start to walk around and randomly just rip things open with their teeth, I'm gonna know that they either watch this video or read this article. So again, I think that's one of those ones that like you have to be physically attracted to the person in order for this to be a sexy thing. You know what I mean? It's hot when someone knows how to chop veggies really fast and well. My eyes are watering because that is so funny. Yeah, that's oddly specific. Um, maybe this is sexy because we don't really see men cook as much. And so when they do, it's like, oh, a man that can cook and he can chop the veggies, but I know exactly what she's talking about. It's like the way they hold the knife. I cook all the time and I can't master this, I can't do it. So when I see someone else do it, it's like, oh. This reminds me of like someone who can shuffle a deck of cards really well. Like it's something about the way that they're doing it so well with their hands and it's just a weird thing. Again, some of these really shocked me, but then when you think about it, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, if my husband does that, I'm like, whew. Um, I'm gonna ask him to chop some veggies now so I can see. <laughs> what his chopping veggie skills look like. The next one is, a professional speaking voice always gets me. I love sharp pronunciation and clear vocals. No matter how you look, if your voice sounds like it's straight from an insurance commercial, I'd lick your bum. Yeah, I think a voice is really important and I think different people are into different things. Some people like a really deep raspy voice. Some people like a very deep voice. Some people like a very raspy voice. Some people are attracted to, you know, someone who sounds like they're in an insurance commercial. I mean, the range here is pretty vast. You know, there's an element of your voice that you can't really control. Um, you know, some people have higher pitched voice than others. My voice is very high pitched. Uh, and people used to ask me, what is wrong with your voice? It's just the way that I talk, right? There's nothing I can really do to change it. But with practice, you can get better at pronouncing things. You can be a little bit more clear in your speech. You can slow down your speech and not talk so fast, which can be really sexy to women. You know, I think slowing your speech down can be really sexy and, you know, pronouncing things correctly or just honestly expanding your vocabulary as well, I think can be an element here that kind of takes it up a notch. Yeah, I think there's more to this one than just a professional speaking voice, but I do think a voice can be really attractive and there are things that you can do to improve this about yourself and improve the areas, you know, that kind of surround your voice as well in terms of slowing down your speech, the way you pronounce things, your vocabulary, all that. The next one is, I love a guy who is charitable. Whether he gives time, his money, or both, it's a major turn on. Yeah, I agree. I think this is super sexy. It's that altruism that women tend to find very attractive. I think that's why a lot of women are into men in uniforms, whether it be military, fireman, whatever it is, but a guy who volunteers, a guy who helps people in need, a guy who holds open the door for you, a guy who helps an elderly man cross the street. I mean, this can look so different. It doesn't have to be just you donating money to things. Um, it can be giving your time or just being kind, right? I think altruism is sexy and I totally agree. And I think the element here is what can you do for people or what do you do for people who don't do anything for you? You know, it's really about being kind. Hearing someone whisper the F word under their breath. 
I don't know about that one. Again, I think that's one where like you have to be attracted to the person and I'm sure anything they would whisper under their breath would then be attractive. Maybe not if they said something really weird, but you, you get the point. People who love theater. It's a must for anyone I'm going to date and it's a nice bonus with friends. Yeah, I think this one is a personal preference, but again, these are things that turn people on and even though there are some things that I think could be pretty universal, uh, some common ground that a lot of us could agree on, turn-ons and being attracted to things also is very subjective. It's very individual and very personal and what one girl likes, another may not. You know, it's not really a turn-on for me personally if a guy likes theater, but I could see how if a girl was really into that, how that would be a turn-on to her. If she's into it and she wants a guy to be, to each their own. Hugs from behind where he nuzzles his face into the crook of your neck. That's so hot. Yeah, I wanna make this clear. Don't just like walk up to a girl and do this, right? You wanna have some rapport established. You wanna have a connection built. I think this one is for when you're actually seeing someone, right? Like you're in the talking stages, you're dating, you're in a relationship. Don't just do this to a stranger. I wanna make that clear, but yes, very sexy. A hug from behind just makes you feel I don't know, it's like kind of mysterious because they're behind you and it just makes you feel safe and caressed and protected. Yeah, so I agree with that one. The next one is morning voice love. Again, it's that like raspiness and the effortlessness of when you first wake up in the morning. I know a lot of women are into like bedhead and I think just the way that a man looks when he wakes up because it's so effortless and it's like he's just sexy without trying again, would probably need to be attracted and very into this person. But yes, voices in general, morning voice, yes. It's such a turn on when someone texts you to make sure you got home safely. Yes, totally agree. Text her after a date and say, hey, I had a great time. Let me know when you make it home. If she's into you, that will be the cherry on top of a perfect evening. Love. It shows that you're a gentleman. It shows that you care, that you're worried about her safety. Women love that. Someone who actually holds eye contact with you while speaking and genuinely looks interested in what you're saying. Yes, being an active listener, paying attention, making eye contact, having the other body language signs that you're interested and engaged. Yes. Eye contact can also be very flirty. It can be used as a way to build sexual tension, sexual attraction. Um, you know, Body language packs a punch. I've done videos about this, so go watch them. Next one says, it's such a turn on when someone talks about something they're passionate about. Their eyes light up and they get genuinely excited to share their knowledge. It gives me butterflies every time. Yeah, and what you're interested in and what, what a woman finds attractive that you are interested in is going to vary depending on the woman. We're all into different things. We all have different preferences. We all have different interests. Um, but I think watching a man talk about something that he's really passionate about or interested in, even if I don't necessarily like what he's talking about, I like watching him love talking about it. Women wanna see that you're passionate. Women wanna see that you have things that you enjoy. Women wanna see that you're knowledgeable about a topic, that you are interested in things, that you're a lifelong learner, that you're curious. And when you talk about something you're passionate about, and when you're sharing knowledge, when you're showing your interest and passion, women are so drawn to that and it's incredibly sexy. So I agree. Humor, there's nothing sexier than someone making me laugh self-explanatory, women love a guy who can make them laugh. This is like a universally known thing. I don't know a single girl who says, I wanna date a guy who is serious all the time and isn't funny. I think humor is important. For me, I'm always attracted to men with a strong sense of justice and an excellent moral compass. It's so sexy when someone shows compassion and will fight for justice. Yeah, I think a man who can stand in his own and who is firm in his beliefs and has morals and values that align with yours is really sexy. It shows that you're a leader. It shows that you're passionate about the things that you care about. And I think women really like that. It's, it, makes you, it makes you come across as someone who is reliable and who has integrity, which I think is really a positive thing. Men in jogging pants, especially with the cuff at the end. Yeah, a lot of women are really into the athleisure look. I even really like when my husband wears this kind of stuff. He only dresses like that when we go to the gym, but he wears like a t-shirt with joggers and a little cuff at the end with his little running shoes and he just looks so cute. Yeah, I love that. At the gym, I love a man in athleisure when it's appropriate, right? Someone make sure you dress appropriately for the situation that you're in. I wouldn't recommend wearing joggers to a fancy restaurant, right? 
Um, but if you're going to the gym, if you're running errands, super sexy. When they run their hands through their hair, yeah, it's that effortlessly sexy thing that I talked about. Um, you just look cool when you're doing that. Witty banter is such a turn on. The sexual tension there is always astronomical. Yes. And this is really going to come down to, are you compatible? And do you have a connection with the person you're talking to? You're not always going to have that witty banter or that humor between the two of you. But when a guy's able to do this, women love it. Also paying attention to small details and being able to turn a small detail into an inside joke between the two of you, so sexy. Women melt over that, trust me guys. It's so hot when someone readjusts their glasses in a natural, not trying to be sexy way. Yeah, I love a man in glasses. I'm a little bit biased because my husband wears glasses. That's one thing I love about him. I think glasses are sexy. You look educated, you look studious, intelligent. Um, I just love glasses. And yeah, when they push them up, oh, love. That won't be for every woman. Not every woman likes glasses, but me, I'm a fan. I really love a good smile. Hot damn, I will get all hot and tingly if someone has a really nice smile. Yeah, and you know, even if you don't have the best teeth in the world, I think just smiling, right? Showing that you're happy. But also there have been studies that show women like a guy who is more like has a stern look rather than smiling. There was a study done with dating apps and the men who were smiling in the photos didn't get as many matches as the men who were not. Now, I think there's some va variables there to consider. Were the men who were smiling less attractive than the ones who were more stern looking? Of course, there's some nuance there, but I think a lot of women are really into guys who have nice teeth and a nice smile. If you're someone who does not, just work with the cards you've been given, right? Not all of us have perfect teeth. And there are things you can do to improve your smile and your teeth. Um, that are relatively affordable. It's such a turn on when people send you songs, memes, pictures, or anything that made them think of you. Again, showing that you pay attention to small details and that you're thinking of someone is just a great feeling when you're talking to someone and they send you something that reminded them of you. Love that. Consistency is sexy. It's nice when people regularly show up for you when they say they will. Yeah, be a man who follows through, a man with integrity. Women like to feel safe, and secure and like they can rely on you. You say you're gonna do one thing and you do another, you never follow through, that's unattractive. Women don't like that. They only like that if they have some issues themselves, to be totally honest. That's toxic. Good singers, a good voice is a great turn on. Yeah, you know, women love a guy who is in a band or the lead singer or who gets up on stage and has a great singing voice. Elvis Presley was great looking, but his singing voice certainly helped. And of course, this is not going to apply to all of you. I know not all of you are good singers. That's okay. I think just being good at something, having a skill. I'll take this one a step further and just say that having some sort of skill is so sexy, whether it's speaking multiple languages, playing an instrument. Being a good singer is like a little bonus. You don't have to be, right? But yeah, women do, women do swoon over a guy who can sing. It's attractive when someone laughs super hard, accidentally snorts, and then catches themselves in embarrassment. Oh my gosh, I do that. Um, yeah, I would say if you're into someone, little quirky things they do become really attractive because you, you just like them and you think they're attractive and you like the little quirks that make them not perfect. I think so many people approach dating trying to be perfect when in reality, sometimes it's your imperfections that are actually the most attractive things. But yeah, I think that's that's really cute. But again, I think that's one of those things where you have to be attracted to the person in order for something like that to be cute. A man eating an apple, don't know why, just mmm. Mm, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't like hearing people chew. So I don't think I'm on board with that one. But I guess it's probably like the way that they eat it in their hand. Like, cause you're seeing their hand and they're holding it up to their mouth. I'm like trying to picture it in my head now. And I, I believe it has something to do with the way that it's being held up to their mouth. The hand, the way they're eating it, yeah. I really love seeing someone be patient with kids, especially if it just comes naturally to them. Yep, shows a nurturing side to you and that you would probably be a good father, which women are attracted to. For some reason, I think it's kind of sexy to watch someone drive a stick shift car. Yes, and just there are so many things you do in the car that can be sexy putting your hand on the seat, looking back when you reverse, one hand on the wheel, of course, drive safely, okay, don't be reckless. That's another thing, driving safely. But yeah, someone who can drive a stick shift, it's just like the way their hand is on the, 
gear, is that what it's called? I don't even know, I can't drive a stick shift. I think that's another thing too. So many people can't drive a stick shift now that if you can, it's pretty sexy because it's more rare. Wrists and forearms are such a turn on, especially if someone touches my wrist and forearms in a tender way. Yeah, in terms of a man's wrist and forearm, roll your sleeves up. This is why I tell you to roll your sleeves up on your button downs so that we can see your forearm because women melt over that. They love it. Pop a watch on your wrist, you're golden. And if you touch my wrist and forearms in a tender way, yeah, I think physical touch is something that can really build sexual tension. Um, even though it's not really sexual, it can, it can build that between two people. And just physical contact in general, whether it's you know touching her shoulder, touching her arm, touching her leg, of course, once you build a connection and rapport there, again, not telling you to touch a stranger, don't do that. I've had people do that to me, I don't like it. But yeah, non-sexual touching can still be a turn on. I love when someone knows what they want and they go for it, not in an aggressive way, but in an assertive and positive way, yeah. A guy who goes after what he wants. It shows confidence, it shows drive, passion. Love that. There's something so freaking sexy about someone who has mastered an instrument and can play beautiful music. Yeah, like I said before, a guy playing the guitar, a guy playing the piano, love. Because it's showing that you are good at something, that you have a skill, and that makes you look like a good partner. Because you have skills. I was watching this prehistoric show the other day and this is so dumb, but please bear with me. There was one type of dinosaur where in order to attract a mate, it would hunt a, di a smaller dinosaur and show that it could hunt. And that would be part of its presentation to the female. I know that's kind of a silly comparison, but I think when you watch other species attract a mate, it can actually tell you a lot about the human species too and how we like to see that you're capable. We like to see that you have a skill. We like to see that I'm gonna be able to count on you. Forehead kisses, there's something so intimate about them. Even if I see someone else get one in public, I can't get it out of my mind. Yes, it's sweet, it's special. It's very intimate, even though it's on your forehead. It just, it just feels very sweet, agree. It's so attractive when someone is laughing or smiling and their nose wrinkles. Yeah, that's kind of like the laughing and smiling and the snorting thing before. Um, again, it's just a little quirk about someone that makes, you know, that stands out that you like them and that's just something little that you notice. Intelligence is sexy, not the pushy kind of intelligence where a person tries to act superior, agree, but the kind where someone is just casually knowledgeable about something. Yes, speaking about something that you're passionate about or that you're knowledgeable about, so sexy. It shows that you're curious, it shows that you like to learn, it shows that you have information, it shows that you're interesting, agreed. When a guy has good oral hygiene, it goes beyond just having a nice smile. It shows a level of attention and care that really appeals to me. Yeah, I would say even further than oral hygiene, just good grooming habits in general. A guy who cleans up his facial hair, who has a skincare routine, who you know trims his nose hairs, who trims his nails, who uses a tongue scraper to get rid of bad breath and uses mouthwash, brushes his teeth. Yeah, hygiene is so important. Regardless of what you look like, Hygiene is like bare minimum. Finally, it's so hot when men drive in reverse and put their arm on the passenger seat headrest. Damn, you've heard it here before. Putting it here, driving in, one hand on the wheel, one hand on the... I rest my case. Yeah, so I know this is kind of a more silly and entertaining video, but I thought it would be fun to go through some submissions from other people just to see what people are into. And I think it just highlights the fact that we all are into different things. Although, you know, I, I agreed with a lot of those. I'm sure a lot of other women would as well. It really comes down to the person. And there are so many weird, quirky things that you find attractive about someone when you like them. Or just things that can make someone more attractive that are a little bit shocking and you might not expect. So that's all I have for this one. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. Also, be sure to go subscribe to my new YouTube channel at Courtney Christine Ryan. I'll link it below for you guys to check out. I'm just a little more personal on there. I share some things about myself, vlogs, fashion. I've really been enjoying connecting with you guys over there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.